Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon to all the geeks out there. And our leader, and welcome to the fourth episode of the Geek Inspired Content Contest. Yes, contest. This is a new <laughs> game show that we're running. As you can see, I'm on camera today. <laughs> it's not normal. And ignore Rusty in the corner over there. Um. <laughs> he can't handle the unprofessionalism on the show. <laughs> yeah, he can't. Eh? So, He's gonna yes, run away Geek soon, Inspired though. Podcast, as we were saying earlier, with my my immense intelligence. Right, with our special guest, Rusty Pylover. I'm I'm still trying to get over this, okay? So carry on. <laughs> carry on. Say what you wanna say. I'm I'm totally entertained. Say what you wanna say. Hello! There hello. you go, that's what you're supposed to do. Supposed Am I supposed to, to say hello? Yes, and right next to him is Tunes with his new Witcher cap. I'm What's up? His new. Oh yeah. yes, School um, of the Wolf. And his new gaming chair. Indeed, indeed. <laughs> and his new background. Hashtag blessed. No, I also want to be to it. He's in color now. Oh, he's in <laughs> I'm also color. in color, that's yes. <laughs> hey, do you know why and I'm in color? And of course, ourselves, the SA Geeks, we are obviously still here. We haven't we haven't mm -hmm. formed off the fest just yet. We're only eight thousand kilometers away. Kiz. Myself on camera, as you can see, yes, we're all here. And we're gonna just shoot the shit and talk a bit more to Rusty about what Rusty does and other random stuff from the week that just passed. Mm -hmm. So Kez is gonna give us the the, the lowdown and the, the, she's gonna run through each topic. I'm going to talk more than she is because she's a little so. sore. She has a little under the weather. I thought you got escon there. <laughs> it was like a mini escon that one. Yeah. <laughs> There's life on that one. <laughs> Just okay. the room. <laughs> So, the first one. I'm not going in this order, but I am going in the order because it kind of just works. Um. Actually, no, let's start with this one. Who saw the, the opening video for the Final Fantasy VII? Me, 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 me. Rusty doesn't even know what Final Fantasy is. He's like, what's this Final Fantasy I movie? know what Final <laughs> Fantasy is. I just haven't seen the, the opening yet. <laughs> you are so just oh, Bless for me. <laughs> you are so missing out. Okay, and then just go. And then discuss, she says. So, so, <laughs> no, so discuss. Open. Okay, so I actually kind of think it's it might turn out to be good. I'm hoping that the, the gameplay is going to actually fit in with the rest of how Final Fantasy VII actually was. Mm. Um, I know that they've changed a bit of the gameplay mechanics. I just I hope it's not too heavy. That's that's for sure. But the, the opening scene was epic. It really was. The way they actually managed to roll new scenes into uh the old scenes and actually make them fit so perfectly together it was amazing i loved it mm -hmm. i think i think they're doing a good job of trying to readapt the game to a yeah. more modern aud audience along with obviously more modern visuals and sound and things like that um so i'm hopeful based on this and, and previous information and gameplay but we'll have to see. Um, I still don't like the idea of it being episodal and stuff like that. Yeah, but like also, yeah. like, if it wasn't, like, when would we get this game? Like, 2029, like, 2030, like, <laughs> so... 20, 21, 20. <laughs> <laughs> 21, 20. <laughs> so, like yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm cautiously <laughs> optimistic, but, like, you know, Screenix, it's been a while since I've done something you know to make me impressed or happy yeah hopefully they do they do this game justice though because I, I don't like i, I agree with you you know did you just I say like square enix i said hasn't square impressed enix. You. have you played hitman 2 well i'm talking about the jrpg side except for um <laughs> dragon quest 11 which was really good but i'm talking specifically about the final fantasy series i didn't like final fantasy 15 that much and final fantasy 13 was sad for me i was i was just about to say if you if you just came on and said square enix hasn't impressed you and i <laughs> need hitman 2 in front of you <laughs> no hitman, hitman is cool i enjoy hitman 
Yeah, but you can see that. But like, I associate Square Enix with the Final Fantasy games because I've played yeah. a lot of them during but my I could, childhood. You can so. kind of see where they're going with the whole thing. Though. See that they're doing the whole Hitman one, uh, bring out on episodes. So sort of like, disc one, disc two. Rusty Famous wants to know if he can smack you in the face with a pan. No, he cannot. Why? Because you don't look very lively. I'm sure. I'm sure it's because you just. I've been watching you the whole time, and you have not. <laughs> you literally didn't even blink for like. And a even minute. even <laughs> your your darling Kitaju, hello. Ah. Says why. <laughs> what does she mean? Yeah, why? Why would you want to hit me in the face with a frying pan? That's rude. Because you, you look, look angry. angry. You apparently look angry. I'm not angry. I'm just. I'm <laughs> focused here, and then then I hear the Square Enix bashing, and like Hitman Two exists, and I'm just like. Wait a minute. <laughs> no, to add into, to no add I mean, like, they did well with Tomb Raider and stuff, but <laughs> it's the JRPG side. Okay, listen, listen, if we're going to go down a Tomb Raider path here. You didn't enjoy the Tomb Raider reboot. I love them. Right? All three of them. I think it was pretty cool. I enjoyed I it. Yet. Exactly. But JRPG <laughs> side lacking. I haven't even played yet. I played them yet. Kez is bad. I don't like too much to do. I haven't, I haven't played the so third one yet. Yeah. Too much to do, yet Tomb Raider came out in 2013. Russ, uh, it, no. no. <laughs> you, are, you are not exempt. You are not excused. You are, no, no. I've got good games to play. I've got, what? I've got real games what? to play. What? <laughs> 2013 was a good you, year for games. You are entitled <laughs> to your incorrect opinion as well. 2013, he was saying so because I was in the UK and he was in South Africa. That's still no excuse. You make a plane to play. 2013. Um, what was I playing in 2013? I don't know. It's too long ago to remember. Just anyway. pause, I think, 13, 2013, like, Last of Us just came out. Tomb Raider. What else would have been out around that time? Maybe. Ace Combat. I was playing that as well. It was it yeah. was a good age. It was towards the end of the PS3 era, close yeah, to the start was, of PS4. It was the end of it, yeah. Um, but yeah, no, I can't remember what games I would play. Anyway, that was a joke. So anyway, <laughs> but yeah, disappointed. To, to sum immensely. it up, to sum it up, cautiously optimistic for Final Fantasy VII <laughs> reboot. Um, I think they'll do better than Blizzard did. Yeah. Um, I mean, yes, that's not difficult to do. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> speaking salt of salt in the wound, salt in yeah. the wound. No, it's it's not it's not Blizzard, it's Blizzard Vision or Blurry oh, Vision. Active Blizz. It's Activision Blizz. Or Active Blizz or whatever the bloody other one. Active Blizz. Uh, Active they've, Blizz. Gone, they've gone full mobile, so I mean, no one, none of us <laughs> never go full it. mobile. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, there is a new. Diablo E kind of game, speaking Ugh. on that topic. It's going to be on cell phone, I can tell you now. They're going no. to be for cell phones. The, <laughs> no. the, the Walken Lords of Mayhem. No, man. Different developer. No, I was talking about, you were talking, I thought I heard Diablo. Okay. Diablo E. Diablo-ish. Mm. Diablo-ish. <laughs> Diablo E means like it's a, 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 an electro. Kind of electro. Have you guys seen that? I've only kept up with Diablo 4 news. I haven't kept up with the rest of the stuff. Segway. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not really Masterful. made by Diablo. It's made by a different company, and it's called... Blizzard, you mean? Well, it's not made by Blizzard. Well, how do you know that it's... the devil didn't make this game? You don't know. <laughs> sure. <laughs> well, because I'm not there. <laughs> you weren't there. It's Wilkin Lords of Mayhem, and it kind of looks like Diablo, but the only problem is that it released on the 13th of February, and two days two days or a day later, their servers already started he's crashing. <laughs> see, he's already giggling. <laughs> I need to see this. <laughs> it's Diablo like, it's not Diablo. Oh, I didn't say it's Diablo! <laughs> oh, you said Diablo? You said Diablo, Diablo ish. Ish. Diablo ish. Careful of your words there, dearie. <laughs> <laughs> no, it looks, it looks like fun. Ah, uh, I just feel like with a lot of these, these particular type of games, especially like the, the, the dungeon crawler stuff, 
there's no <sighs> there's no consequences for picking items everything is is a stat stick you you're farming until you get something better with no recompense or or consequence so the thing about what made diablo 2 great is if i was a necromancer and i wanted to use a sword and it was great in attack power but gave me nothing to my skills or said um minus five to cold resist there was always a a consequence to taking something and that is why you had to be very careful in what you picked Mm. And that's what I feel is missing in a lot of these games. I know Path of Exile is very close mm. to to that kind of thing, and that's what why yeah. Path of Exile is so good. So mm. I'll give Welcome a try, but that is my gripe on on Diablo like games yeah. is, is everyone wants to make it easy and not have a consequence. When yeah, there's also there's this thirty pound uh, price tag on it as well. No, it's. It's thirty pounds for us, but it's like forty nine dollars or something. Like well, that. I mean, it's thirty pounds. You know, yeah. you can calculate properly from thirty. But it's uh, still a lot for a game that for... just released. Yeah, it looks... It's very buggy. Yeah. yeah. This so is, this I'd is say Steam wait a little bit um, <laughs> before you actually get it, because mm. I went on to their their Twitter feed, and I think it was a day after it released, they already had issues with their server and issues with character creation and progression mm, yeah. and things like that so a day or two after that's you... just become the norm with video games yeah you release yeah, broken it is. so it's why broken. would you we'll want to later. launch a game well Different. that's it's as as she said it's like it's become the norm everyone does broken it. on a broken game yeah it's not like back in the day where it's not doa you know, it's boa to, yeah <laughs> it's not like back in the day when you had to when like, they had to actually finish the game properly yeah because they couldn't patch it or fix it yeah because those things patches yeah. the only patches they had were expansions and that was like bro here's the expansion it's fixing it's a couple it's of so... bugs as well <laughs> <laughs> but it's another game essentially <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I don't uh, know. Good times. Yeah. It's it feels like essentially most games are like even after you buy them, they're still like early access. And then you gotta wait. Yeah, yeah that's terrible. Like stuff like very, No Man's Sky, cool. like that's a, like it's now a different game from when it released. Like can you even yeah. call it No Man's Sky anymore? Like I don't know. The current mm. industry is weird. Um but interesting. Yeah. No, it is. It's very interesting. I mean, the, I mean, what, you know, the the, the market alone. The, the, I I give some of the developers a, a break. The ones that actually do work hard to release the game and make sure that it comes out properly. You know, uh, CD Projekt Red are, are mm. guilty of that. They're guilty of actually. guilty. <laughs> yeah, it's, look, look at the developers today. You know, if you don't release a buggy game, then you're a bad developer. You know, so mm. CD Projekt Red are guilty of being too good to the customer. <laughs> you know, you have to be yeah. a complete, a complete doers to the customers for it to actually even work. Mm. It's ridiculous. Absolutely. For it to be normal. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. We could go into next Tuesday with this topic, but <laughs> yeah, we could. <laughs> we, need, we need to move on. Okay, <laughs> yeah, next <laughs> topic. <laughs> Rusty and Darling Kita, you were in a bit of bias. <laughs> Interesting. How did that go about? What happened? How did you get it? Tell us. So I was I was actually chilling at work, and um, someone phoned me, and actually said that Grand Hines recommended Kita and myself for an ad for Better Buy for the the Valentine's Day couple thing, um, because we game together and. You know, sometimes she streams on my my channel. I I stream, and then she's there as well. So through all the 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 ups and downs, not so much ups and downs. They were more like trying to organize everything. They come around the house, and they're here for like six hours trying to record everything. So they're moving everything around, lighting, and I honestly have a newfound respect for the film industry because now you see what happens behind the background, and these are just two guys. Um, we also had load shedding problems, so oh, they had to wait. Of course. Of course. Yeah, they had to wait for the computer to get on to get live footage of us actually streaming, which eventually they got at least. 
But yeah, the the ad came out much better than I thought, and I'm still as Afrikaans as ever. <laughs> yeah, 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 sir. Get you. Darling Kita Chu says, renovated the whole apartment. <laughs> they did. They moved so much around, trying to get like the perfect thing here and there, and I'm just like... Should have got them to paint the walls while they were at it. Like just, yeah. Yeah, just, they should have. Like just replace yeah, our yeah. roof while you edit. Did you offer them the sandwiches that you guys were busy making? We did. We we, we offered them coffee and food, but they didn't want any. Oh. Um, which is fine because they needed to work, but uh, professionals. I, those sandwiches were nice. We got such <laughs> flack for those sandwiches, and I'm like, what's wrong with that sandwich? It's nice. It is kind of weird, but if you like it, you like it, I guess. You guys can see you've moved away from South Africa because it's a standard thing in South Africa to have a bread with a bunch of Simba chips on and you slap another bread on. No, we, we don't have Simba here. <laughs> no, we have, we have the okay. thing because, which is close to Lay's. But chip sandwiches are nice, but mm. I saw mayonnaise in there as one. Mayo? Ooh. <laughs> 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 We, we are yet to discuss the ad, not sandwiches. <laughs> that is not another topic. Snacks are important that to is, gamers, that okay? That is a sandwich discussion that could go on until next week. I will defend that sandwich. It was glorious. <laughs> if you enjoyed it, well, you enjoyed it. There's nothing I can say. But you know, you do know that I'm definitely Scottish. Kes won't touch it from a bar, from like with a 10 foot pole, yeah. but I eat haggard. And I enjoyed it. It's actually really nice. So, no, it was it was an experience. I've I've never actually been in front of like a proper camera crew before, and you are they they very calm. Oh, they, well, I'm, I'm judgment. What, darling, Darling, darling Kitachi said that you judged her. I did. No. Initially, I judged her. <laughs> I I initially judged her. Busted. I did. I was like, <laughs> uh, secret. No, 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 no. I judged her for putting butter and mayonnaise together on a on a sandwich. That's not how that you do it. That makes more sense than just mayonnaise. Yeah, no, but uh, it's, there's nothing worse than soggy bread. Uh, if you put if you put butter, at least it doesn't make the bread soggy. If you don't put butter, then it gets all soggy. And then like, how much mayonnaise oh. do you put on your sandwich that it sogs through? I'm very curious here. Do you <laughs> yeah. like take a big ladle? <laughs> Just take a big ladle and take a spoon and just take a spoon and splotch it off. That's what I would mean. you would you like some bread with your mayonnaise? Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's how I do it. See, even too yeah. like a breadstick well, just out of the mayonnaise like container. Oh, yes, dear. Yes, dear. <laughs> no, I was I honestly it, it was an experience and um I'm very happy and I'm very grateful for the opportunity that we could do that for Bitter Buy. Um as well as Grand Heinz actually recommending mm -hmm. us um out of all the, the gaming couples out there we, we were the one that they picked and mm -hmm. you know I'm, I'm i'm always grateful and i always want to give back um to those who've helped so you know it was interesting not gonna lie it's very interesting sounds cool How, how's the feedback been for the ad for you guys well Honestly, it's been mostly good. We've had one or two people that are like, we, we don't believe this. How is it like this? But so far, the feedback has been really positive. Everyone is like, congratulations. I got like so many people recommending me because they get this on Bill or Buy or they go there. So I'm like, hey, look at you. And I'm like, wait a minute. Oh, that is me. Ooh. <laughs> That is me every single time I look at any video that I <laughs> It sounds it sounds like YouTube videos I did from like four or five years ago when I was just starting. I'm like my dude, what's wrong with your voice? Are you still that Afrikaans after all this time? No. You are near me, bra. Yes. <laughs> you gotta have to practice. Just because you moved to another country that can't speak Afrikaans. But he doesn't play Tomb Raider. <laughs> yeah. What's that got to do with speaking Afrikaans, dude? Everything. Okay, here's topic. 
<laughs> You've got that far off. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going to leave you to connect the dots there, okay? But they connect <laughs> somewhere along down the line. You just got to figure it out. Yeah, it's like an entire solar system between. Exactly. The connect the dots. Eventually, you'll get to where you need to. <laughs> That's a lot of dot connection. I'm surprised because we've known you for a while and you like you don't really like being in front of the camera for interviews and things like that. The <laughs> fact that you were so calm during that filming, I was like, whoa, what happened to Rusty? Where's he gone? <laughs> <laughs> no, he was Although, how many tips well. for you ah. to be so calm? <laughs> well, yeah, true, but I, I, I think the thing is, with live streaming, it just makes it easier because I just picture there's like interaction and Kita made it much easier because then there's someone else. If that was me alone, I'd be like, <laughs> exactly like that. So she made it. She made it a lot easier than it <laughs> what it would have done. She says that you drained all the calmness from her, <laughs> which means she was the nervous one. <laughs> she was the nervous one. Well, but she was also. She was also in her element. So no, she also did very well. It was. I actually, when I saw the the post that you were in ad, I look, I watched it obviously without the sound because I was at work. And then afterwards, I watched it and I was like, "Oh, it's so cool!" I just smiled because you looked so calm. You What's guys look great are? together. It was just so nice to see something like oh, this. Oh, it's the Bray. The, the Bray has joined. It's the Bray. It is the Bray. Kuya says, "Friends." Roman, we are here. We are here. Where have no, you been? Okay. Next. Uh, Kiss is moving on to the next topic. We don't have to. Well, I mean, there's silence. Move on to the next yeah. topic. <laughs> we were literally talking about the culinary science of sandwiches and mayonnaise. I think, I think that topic has ended. Really <laughs> we can move on. But I haven't actually been able to, to read about it, but you two are very big into the D&D thing. What the yes. hell is goat ball? Goat Apparently, ball. it's something that is played in D games. Goat ball. Yes. Hold so on, I've heard of this. I just need to make sure. Me, I don't know. Goat ball. Yeah, I can't Google right now. Otherwise, I'm gonna look at. Yeah. Well, while we're busy googling, in the I would space, say it's from Critical Role. God, it's probably like a sport. Okay, so Go Ball is basically it's it's designed for two to four players of exceptional strength and dexterity. So basically, it's it's mainly for Goliaths and giants or people that are super strong. It's the idea is to throw the ball to other players and knock them off their perch. Lots are drawn to see who goes first. Players are not allowed to wear armor of any type. Rolls are made to uh, rolls to it are made against the opposing player's natural uh, armor class. Only dex rolls, bonuses apply. Uh, so you're basically, everyone stands on one perch, it's two to four players, you, you, you throw it as hard as you can to knock someone off. And the ball is made from goat hide, that's why it's called goat ball. I see. So you get this big giant goliath with all these muscles and no intelligence and he's just like... Me, they're a ball. <laughs> 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 and then basically you have to roll to try and catch the ball and if you fail, uh, sorry for you. Yeah. So it's like a D, &D version go. of dodgeball, but with strength. Well, I can hear yeah, basically dexterity. that's what it is, except you don't really have much place to But dodge. you can't dodge, yeah, so you just have to take it. It's catch like or just be like, okay, where am I going to take this? Am I going to turn around and be like, right on the booty? Or am I just going <laughs> to... I'm gonna stand there and just wait for this ball to smack me square in the face. Like, <laughs> great yeah, artist, like yeah, dodgeball yeah, with the medicine ball. Dodgeball for medicine ball. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds about right. Yeah. Honestly, honestly, <laughs> if, if I had to take a ball and and like I had to be knocked off on my perch, I would want to be in like a pose. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your pose is probably be like this. No, I, I refuse to get hit in the face. So if you're going to hit me in the chest, <laughs> that's not going to knock out of you. I mean, yeah, I mean, you're a streamer. You have to protect your face. Did you insure your face? Do you <laughs> think that people come to my stream to watch my face? My dear sir, let me tell you how life disappoints you. I don't know. 
<laughs> and many un- do you not use a face cam? Ways. Where do they come to? They come to they come to stream to hear me scream like a little girl. That's, That's what they true. come to stream for. And or sing, true. or sing. No, not singing. Let it go. Let it go. <laughs> What's up, Silverback? Oh, Jonah? Oh, man, and there's, something, there's something in my eye. There's something in my yeah. eye, too. Woo! My arm is very itchy right now. <laughs> <laughs> so Silverback says Rusty stop lying to yourself Darling Kita says I mean I do and Kuya says special achievement in dodgeball sexy pose <laughs> sexy, sexy, sexy pose it, it'll come up what, what, what do they mean stop lying to myself I'm always truthful to myself uh-huh. I've got too many souls to lie. (laughs) People don't come to see my face. They come to see me scream like a little girl. But I have have established this. And you know how I've established this? Because Dead by Daylight is super popular. Every Friday I stream it. Yeah. Uh, Kids and Oscar trying to figure out what we're going to play. People don't want to look at me. So I said at the moment she has to sit closer to the camera. Because they don't want to look at me. (laughs) I look at you. And I, I know you're looking at me. Don't, 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 don't let anyone know, man. It's I wanted to awesome. get him die for his beard, but he wouldn't let me. The hell do I want to die for my... You know what, what if you can't get me age point? gracefully, then screw you. No, but like proper, like proper beard well, die for men. What did they say? Women age like fine wine and men age like milk. There's your proof. It's the other way around, dude. <laughs> no. Because let's be honest here, in 20 years, Kez is still going to look like that, and in 20 years, we definitely don't know what you're going to look like. I'll probably be too... I'll probably have lost yes. all the weight that's on me at the moment, Because so. <laughs> I'm running up... I'm being rude. Really I apologize. For <laughs> I'm not touching this conversation with a 10-foot pole. <laughs> no, that's why I'm just sitting here like, oh, okay. <laughs> Next time, you know what? it's because Kez has got some sort of like aging, anti-aging thing. I mean, she's she still looks like she's. Why like, do you think your 20s. beard is grey, my dude? I taught her the <laughs> way. Yeah, she sucked all the life out of me. Don't give away she's the secrets now. Yeah, it's ridiculous. <laughs> okay, so we can either talk about Topic dreams change. that came out, or we can talk about outriders. Or we can talk about Rusty's charity stream. My phone says for you. I need to get Secret like a screen. dice for this so I can roll a dice in case we get indecisive. I've got a dice roller. Says my brother. Uh, but you pull out your phone. What are, what are we rolling? Are we rolling a D4? How many things do we have? Three. Three. Okay, so three, if you roll a one, you roll again. And then I, go down. I rolled the list. four. What's last? And roll again. <laughs> Rusty's charity. charity. My charity. You is are the point. winner, sir. Please tell us about putting your me on, on the spot. So <laughs> you rolled it. This, you're the one that rolled it. We did this about two, three years back, where we did a charity live stream for cancer. And I can officially announce that come end of March, beginning April, we're going to be doing it again. But this time it's twelve hours. We're going to be doing a twenty-four hour stream. Nice. And I can't wait because the lineup has got Apex. It's got Granny. Now, if you guys don't know Granny, I would suggest going looking on Steam. It's like the small little indie horror game, but it's actually absolutely terrifying. You play as a Granny? No, you have to run away from Grandma. <laughs> she's, she's got a baseball bat, but she don't look like a Grandma so much. I don't anymore. think being a Granny is more terrifying like Aging is terrifying. We just established that. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you look like Ross, then yeah, you should be you have, to, you have to deal with like not being able to walk to the bathroom without having like joint pain. Yeah. And... So, trust me, this this grandmama, uh, she will she will murder you. Um, yeah, yeah I've, I've, I've still got to work out the lineup, but I'm hoping that we can double what we made last time. I think last time we raised just over 10,000, 11,000 rand. Ooh, so if we can raise double what we raised last time in double the amount of time, I'd lose my head, honestly. <laughs> that would be really Sounds cool. Sounds cool, though. yeah. We shall hold thumbs for you. Mm. And it's it's... 
Can, can, cancer sucks. We can all agree on that. Oh, for sure. So the more help we can put out in the world trying to get research done on how to beat this or um, towards research or just mm. helping someone mm. trying to get through their, their medication and the hospital yeah. bills and that kind of stuff, it's it makes a difference. Mm. Yeah. Uh, as I, much as yeah. I've, I've had doubts on if we made a difference, people come to you and they say, yes, you did. I mean, we, we, we raised funds for the, for the SA Guide Dog Foundation. I got a letter from, from them saying this puppy has been assigned to this person and this person and then we'll go through this whole year journey. So it makes a difference. Any little bit mm. we do makes a difference. So if I can do more charity streams and do more in the world, sign me up. Hey, well, why not? So you're doing the uh, creator? I'm doing the? Creators United this year, you're doing it. Hell yes. Good. Planning is still in motion, nothing is official yet. Even we're doing it and we're all the way here in Scotland. So ah, ah, how's that ah. Hopefully I get fiber ah. from by then, so then I'll be able to do it as well. Oh well, actually I, <laughs> I got I got four G. So I might be able to make a plan. Four G. Yeah, no, we've got we've got fiber to the box. It's not very fast though, but fast it's faster than, than what we've ever had before. <laughs> is, is Kita still there? If she is, look, my love, I found your hair clip. Hey, come on, keep that out of the keep that out of the chat. I want to. She's like, the girls are like cutting off. For fuck's sake! Are they? <laughs> Where were you going with everyone? Oh, my God. <laughs> Didn't even catch that one. There are children is watching. There, for there... fuck's sake! <laughs> <laughs> I can see the look of judgment. <laughs> From kids. Yeah. Oh. I can just see it. He's just sitting there like. So she is still there and she put a laughing face. Ah, and she that. said that she will help with the charity streaming. It is one of her goals. Should be a cool It's like. Successive mudding. <laughs> <laughs> and she said she's a she's considered a child, so Rusty. Oh dear. Oh dear. Ooh. No. <laughs> Do we need Ooh, to call the police? I know where you live. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a good thing to say to someone who says they're considered a child, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Oh, dude, do you need another shovel, dude? I can give it to you. I'm, I'm gonna shut up. <laughs> <laughs> that hole is getting so deep. <laughs> That's what you, you keep digging. <laughs> no, you dig it yourself. Do it. I said nothing. You just did. I know where you live. <laughs> talking to you. You don't know where we live. Yes, he does. If we live in Scotland, it's a big country, dude. <laughs> you think, you think, one, you think your wife is not going to give me a location, and two, you think I won't fly there. <laughs> I know you'll fly here, but no, I won't. And even then, I'll move. <laughs> <laughs> we, we have, this, this country is so awesome, I can. I can just up and move to another house and you'll never know. <laughs> Your wife is a is a a, a tattletale. She'll tell me. <laughs> so she owns my soul, and I need him to take care of it and not destroy it. You even need me to help you buy a, house, a car. No, I do, but he has my soul, and he can do bad things to it. <laughs> yes, and I've got your livelihood right here. <laughs> <laughs> Charity, cancer. Yes. Cancer, yes. <laughs> use all that money you were supposed to use on a plane ticket for cancer. On the, on, on the point of cancer, there's been some interesting research that just came out recently. There were, uh, well, a research lab, I think in the UK somewhere. Um, but they were, can you guys hear me? Am I not wrong? Yeah. <laughs> they were looking, they were actually using a specific type of cancer to see whether a bacteria would infect them, and they, they used a specific marker on it. Um, but what they found was that the white blood cells attacked 
that cancer cell and killed all of it and it kind of like ruined the experiment so they tried using it on different types of cancers and they found out that every time they had treated this white blood cell this white blood cell with a specific type of marker it kept on killing all the different types of cancer cells so isn't that a good thing though? exactly it, it was bad for their research because what they were trying to research wasn't working but the side effect of it was that they found a way to program white cells to attack most types of cancers and leave your regular cells so it's actually really promising it was a it was an episode of SciShow recently if you guys want to go watch that um so there's hope things are happening technology what was the episode of i didn't hear that it's episode of SciShow uh on youtube yeah Okay. From last week. I'll definitely give that a look. Mm. I like it. That's good. Yeah, it is. That is good. What That's is good next news. on the list? Interesting news on our side here. Uh, I just got a, a letter from a place called Cats Protection because we sponsor a, a kennel at a place called Cats Protection where mm. they, they rescue unwanted uh, animals and whatnot, which is like very few and far between here. But there are still, you know, like animals that lose their owners or the owners die or something like mm. that. And they need to take care of them. And I uh, sponsored a ken- uh, uh, one of the little kennels for one of the cats. And um, I got a picture of a little girl and she's doing so and She's such a cute cat. Oh, uh, it's adorable. And obviously I pay, I pay one pound a month for that. So. No, it's six pounds a month. Sorry, six pounds a month. So it's it's we're doing our own part for charity here in yeah. Scotland. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but once we're like fully set up with the proper room, and yeah, we're going to be doing a we're going to be doing more charity yeah, and things like that because we took the the what what am I trying to say? No, I don't know, but we are going to speak to more content creators here. So we got the thing from Rusty you know. because Rusty does good, and we want to do good like Rusty. Oh, <laughs> don't, don't look at <laughs> role models. Yeah, anyway. The essential thing is, over and above that, we're also trying to get hold I'm of the content creators in the UK to start our own Creators United to run concurrently with yeah. the Creators United in South Africa. Oh, that's cool. Because we, we did work to actually start that and get that going. Mm, we worked alongside mm. a whole bunch of awesome content creators. And we thought that we'll do the same here when, as soon as we get some more content going this side. Mm. Get some of those guys jumping on board and actually, you know, raising funds here for a charity here as well to... Mm on and create more good in the world and yes rusty it is you that's been <laughs> so anyway I, I don't i don't take any of the credit it's it's the community every single person who comes and helps those are the real heroes i'm just there to make sure you're the person who starts it and gets the ball rolling and does don't, it and that that me. that me <laughs> Yeah. Don't talk to me. Don't look at me. Yeah, but Kez does too. As much as she says she doesn't, she actually I'm does it as well. Um, <laughs> the whole Creators United thing had her and Sushi and Shushi not actually jumped on board with that and actually got the ball running there. Would never have happened. So she's got just as much to play. Fine. Part to play. Don't look at me. So the two of you together are all freaking <laughs> charity beasts, you machines. Uh, so that's, that's that is part and parcel of why I stream is to make a difference in the world and if Kuya I can make says, one small difference. Yeah. And Kuya says stop denying it, Rusty. Yeah, you see. Him. He's, 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 exactly. <laughs> so you can all you topic. want to. <laughs> but the truth is there. Because the we have to move on the, to other topics. It's true. Yeah. Because we have to keep it to an hour. Yeah, we have to keep it to an hour. Tunes is very particular about that. <laughs> you can't go, can go over an hour, it. but yeah, two hours is every week is going to be rough. But. Yeah. yeah, he just it's cuts fine. off trying to edit all of it. Mm-hmm. Okay, so the next one is Dreams um, or the Outrider yeah, game. I, I don't know much about Outrider, so guys, go for it. I don't know anything about Outrider. I have no actually. idea I actually what found Outrider out about is. it today. Um... It's so kind of an interesting it. topic if no one knows about it. It's coming out. <laughs> what? what is we, it? Outrider. Outrider. I think we should just call an audible and kill Outrider right now since none of us have anything to say about it. Hang on. <laughs> We're going to play the video. Oh, she's playing the video. Oh. 
Let me see this thing. Outriders Holiday 2020. Nuclear weapons. Okay. The video is playing and kisses and kisses in my. Okay, none of that seems like gameplay. It's no, it's a trailer. Hey! It's your order! A People Can Fly production. Oh, if it's from People Can Fly, then... No, then don't always jump to that. I remember the answer. Yeah. Ten shooter deep RPG, unique classes. One guy looks like the trapper from Dead by Daylight. <laughs> interesting, interesting, very interesting, very, very interesting. Now interesting I will have proposal. to I will have to look more into that thing. Very long trailer. <laughs> Now. Just hope Twitch doesn't copyright strike us. I no, I don't think like, they will. Bang. Um, no more SAGs. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, Kez knows me in games. I generally don't buy the buy games new. I mean, As the fact that out. we bought one last week Pretty as it came out is Dream. a huge surprise. I generally don't buy but we don't know much about it, so I suppose we have to... I didn't see it. Dreams coming. Like, where was the marketing for Neither Dreams? Neither did I. Dude, I, I literally got told Thursday, hey, there's a new game called Dreams. You can build your own game and stuff. So I was like, okay, let me have a look at it. <laughs> looked interesting, and I was like, okay, let me play it. The overall like. concept is going to be really cool for the future, because it's, it's you're essentially now it's making... Fun. It's a YouTube for, like, video games... Um, yeah, without the coding. content and movies mm. and making music, so phew, it, that's going to be an entirely the entire platform on the PlayStation in a few years. Yeah, it's something that Kiz and I are going to focus on. The now. controls actually, are. Cool. Yeah, that Kiz mm. and I are going to start actually building games and stuff in Dreams because mm. we we decided that one day a week we're going to actually start doing that every single week because it's, cool. it's, it's a pretty interactive thing yeah um yeah it, it's something that the two of us can do it would be cool to stream yeah because you you'd you be it. showing like creative process and you can have you know polls yeah. and stuff ask the chat like what what color should i choose for this thing or what mm, dialogue exactly. should i have here so so it's, it's definitely uh, there's there's a whole bunch of potential that this mm. game has got which i thought that that, that kids and i could both actually use as a, as a tool mm. to actually just you know, it's a multi-level content creation tool, like even outside of the game. <laughs> <laughs> what we need now is a fast enough laptop <laughs> to be able to handle the yeah. streams. What about a PC, bro? I thought you were the PC guy. Well, laptop, PC, dude, there's no difference between the two. What? I'm very disappointed <laughs> to hear that from you. <laughs> look at those two faces. I can, I look at those. Literally, <laughs> you can, oh, look at that. Like. Can dis- I can open a laptop. And I can turn it into a PC. And this okay, is- you need to you need to stop talking because <laughs> what what you're talking is a whole bunch of garbage. Yes, you can. Garbage. I have taken the motherboard out of a laptop and put sorry, it. In- sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm starting to get allergic to all this BS being spoken. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Look. Call it how you the Discord. No. No. Screw the Discord. Oh boy. Are you are it's you not, hearing this? Not even Tuesday. It's still Monday. Hey. <laughs> Yeah, oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anyway. I know I know Ross for a long time now. I'm slightly disappointed <laughs> in what you just said. <laughs> that sounded like you were starting his yeah. eulogy. Like I knew Ross for a long time. <laughs> I was I was gonna start a eulogy, but I just want him to feel the radiating disappointment. As a man who works exclusively in IT, what you just said is all you know that you can do it, dude. You know that kids watching, it. never ever tell me you can get the power from a desktop onto a laptop because that will no, never think... physically work. 
I said you could. Did I say that? I did not. I said. Oh, to be, to be fair, he didn't say that. He did, he, did to be fair, he didn't say that. He didn't say ah, that. He was, <laughs> you see, I didn't say that you can make it as powerful because laptops will never be as powerful as PCs because you can upgrade PCs. Ah. Ah. <laughs> you have lost. Very much favor. Very much favor. So far, it's three to one here, dude. <laughs> Uh, it's fine, I'm still the see. favorite. If, I, if I count all those souls there, you know, just on my forearm, you're outweighed, so. <laughs> Sorry, ne? And actually, it's two on two because her soul is mine. Oh, dear. Uh, technically, no. So Sorry, ne? Contracts were made. Although, actually, uh, uh, you play uh, as well, so. Uh. <laughs> Making very weird gestures there. Are you trying to say something? This is this is yes, true. Okay. We got Kuyas. we got a ch yeah a point in favor from Koya from the chat. Yeah. With Escom doing its thing, laptop has its benefits. <laughs> and then, okay, he's got me there. <laughs> yeah, I mean we yeah we can't argue against that one. <laughs> Unless no. you invest yes, in like a UPS one. or something. Escom zero. Yeah, I actually I'm planning on building a desktop PC. Anyway. Yeah. Um, but it's going to be a three screen. Nice. Uh, due to nice. the fact that we actually need to work with quite a lot of, I mean, you, you guys know, content creation. We're getting yes. pretty lights for the back of it. Mm. Mm. <laughs> you look like fairy lights. I got, I got, I got, I got one meter. I think it's long enough. And I'm like, well, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> it's a start. <laughs> She's like, one meter. I'm like, yeah, it's that. <laughs> It's those little LED strips that go yeah. yeah. But uh, yeah, so we are building, we are planning on building a decent uh, PC because to mm. be honest, we've got to run uh, um, a PlayStation on the stream. We've also mm. got to run the the programs like OBS and all of mm. the, the Most of the time, hardware on a laptop just cannot handle it. Even no, I mean, can't. okay, granted, you know, you get these gaming pieces and all, and that they're like really powerful and they can handle quite a lot of pressure. But it's the graphics cards that take the most most of the beat yeah. out of the uh, yeah. out of streaming or whatnot. And, and yeah, that's like where everything comes from. Going comes forward, from. like having cards. having the Invenc um, codex from the new um, Nvidia graphics processors is just going to be really good for content creation mm -hmm. because it's it's mm -hmm. its own chip that's running. The, the yeah, video. Exactly. Um, yeah, so, so yeah, if you can I get a hold of one of those on a on a desktop, then you're pretty much set yeah. for a while. I yeah. want that Amazon laptop. I still want that yeah, Amazon well, laptop. Well, what's happening? Oh, the content creator laptop is pretty cool. Ryzen five. Oh, yeah, yeah uh, between a Ryzen five and I think it's a Ryzen. Is it a Ryzen seven or was it Ryzen eight or seven? Seven. It was between those two CPUs. I haven't decided yet which one would actually work best. But I, I mean, look, the seven would be best because it's got more cores. But again, it doesn't really matter if you look at the the, um, the comparisons online. The two are pretty much, you know, it's what it's five percent difference between the the, the, the seven and the five. Mm. So yeah, I, I was thinking that. I mean, look, if you if you're looking at a good idea. if you're looking at Nvidia, I mean AMD anyway. It's like you. Oh no, you, Nvidia is going to be the graphics card. Yeah, yeah I mean. Uh, AMD, it's it's more. It's, AMD is more about value, like what you're getting out of the money you're gonna spend. So, it's definitely better to go for a five than a seven. Yeah. Um, it, it, just because there's more is. value out of the money that you're spending. Yes, exactly. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's more than likely gonna be Ryzen five, but uh, the I haven't decided yet on. Again, it's it, it's gonna be an Nvidia. I just don't know which one. And also, obviously, liquid cooling, uh, just so that we can. Cool the, the CPU down. Mm. So, you know, AMD are renowned for not cooling down properly. <laughs> <laughs> so mm. we'll, yep. we'll be cooling down our 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 at least our CPU with liquid. Nice. Um, but it's it's a whole bunch of stuff that we're actually looking at doing mm. so that we can help make all of these streams better. It sounds cool. Okay. I can't wait to see. Mr. Rusty. Mr. Rusty. What are your plans for 2020? Yeah. What is the future for? I've become so ridiculously famous and rich that I can yeet Donald Trump out of America. Mm, that's <laughs> no, not going to happen, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, think, uh, I, I recently got merch out, so that's like a big life goal completed. Mm, that's cool. Uh, How's that going? 
I got my first purchase today, actually. Oh, okay. Uh, that's nice. Um, yeah, so getting merch out is one of the big things that I wanted to accomplish. Hitting 1,000 followers on Twitch is also close. I think there's like 35 people away, somewhere that's around there. That's pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I haven't planned anything for that yet. I should probably get to doing that. Let it go. Uh, <laughs> no! Elsa <Elsewhere> stream. <laughs> Y'all are already getting stuff for Rage. You two won't see. Sorry, Nat. I know! <laughs> um, more charity streams. Um, yeah, I don't have much of a big list. Mine is just trying to make more things happen in the world. Um, trying to do more charity streams. Building up Twitch uh, as best I can. Uh... Yeah, you guys know me. I've said this for years. All I want to do is make a difference in the world, and that doesn't change any single year. So, yeah, small little goals, but one big goal accomplished every year is to make a difference, mm. whether it be for charity or whether they try and help someone else get set up for stream or just something. So, that's my plan for this year. Yeah, that's a good plan, and it's definitely a plan that I, I admirable. I, stand. Mm. I agree. Well, I agree wholeheartedly with that. Actually, you agree. Okay, what do you well, want? In the in the future, because we haven't asked this question ever, and I feel like I should. Where do you see yourself going? It's like, interview time. It's like Where do you see interview. yourself? <laughs> interview time. I don't know. I, I, mean, transitions. I haven't thought that far out because I've I've come to the conclusion, and this is I've I've never been one to try and be famous. Um, despite everyone else telling me that it is. It's not. <laughs> Deal with the facts um, it is. No, everyone tells me, oh, you're famous now. I'm like, oh, please don't say that. Um, <laughs> I have, I've come to the conclusion, I'll, I'll, I'll never be like, Twitch is like one of the elite top streamers. Um, you know, like the Dr. Disrespects and all of those people. I think for my future, it's just so that, um, should the day come where I stop Twitch, uh, due to some unforeseen circumstances or whatever the case may be. I want to make sure that I've left an imprint on this world and a good one. So whether I stop and then continue doing charity work behind the scenes or I do it in the public eye or whatever the case may be, as long as I'm just making an impact. That is that is what I want my future to be. I don't want lavish Ferraris and Porsches and all of that stuff because let's be honest here, yeah, petrol is expensive in South Africa and if I want to go and get bread at the pick and pay and I have to drive my Ferrari and then I have to tow it back because I put like 400 Rand petrol in and it got me two liters. Yeah. I would say, I, I would say we need that Tesla action here, but then we got Escom up to shit, so I don't know. I want a box car! <laughs> but then again, Escom, I'll, I'll be at the gas station load shedding, I'm like, oh. Oh no. Well, I can't go to work today no, because man, Escom. What was those little cars that they had in schools that you had to make? Um, box cars. No, it didn't have the engines, you had to push it. Box cars. We are going to have to go back to the Flintstones era and yes. make feet rock proper hard so that when we break. <laughs> uh, oh dear. No, my, my future is very simple. I always try and strive for simple things. Um, I've gotten all the goals that I wanted to accomplish. Um, getting merch out was a big thing. Uh, I'm now, uh, I've now been in front of a camera to <laughs> more, more than just a simple Logitech C920. Um, I mean, these things we've, we've raised money for, for charity. Um, I've made a lot of great friends, you guys included. Um, so for me, I just want to make sure that I continue to try and do good things in the world and you know, whether it be the powers that be, I get to the level of ninja and all those guys, or I stay in the middle, or stay in the lower levels, doesn't matter to me. As long as I, I continue to entertain the community that I've built, and they continue to you know, be the supportive people that they are, need nothing more. Hmm. Do you have words of wisdom for anyone who is thinking about starting content creation or, or streaming or don't do it for money you'll be disappointed 
or wants to stream or don't do it for money you'll be disappointed don't be too hasty and don't compare yourselves to others because the thing is other people have worked hard other people get lucky other people know people because in this world you have to know some people it's dog eat dog world but focus on your growth and your um your community don't focus on others and don't be that guy that goes into someone else's stream or youtube channel and punts yours and then just eats on out of there that is the definition of not to do something trust me i know this from both sides of the coin that's that's it i don't really have much words of wisdom Pro there tips. are other people Pro that tips. you could ask that might have something <laughs> that there's other people you can ask that have better advice that's it for work. Jumps onto other channels. <laughs> He's self <laughs> busted himself. Not, <laughs> not anymore. <laughs> he obviously learned his I lesson. I used to be young, okay? Yeah. I used to make mistakes. Who oh, yes, yes, you have very wise. What? I have no, what? Who? Mistakes. We're human. Very wise words. Kuya. Uh, it's, it's, you have to know it from both sides of the coin. You have to make the mistake. And then you have to learn from that mistake and become wise. Otherwise, you're going to be, you're going to think you're wise your whole life long, then do it wrong. And then you're not going to know what's right from wrong. So take it from me, who's learned from both sides of the coin. When I started out my YouTube channel, all I wanted was everyone to come and look. So went on to other bigger YouTubers, punted my channel, and people did not enjoy that. So you learn really? not to do that. Thankfully, we had we had people like Zafla and whatnot say, mm. "Don't ever do that." So we never did. <laughs> no, but also when we started, he was around for a while as well, and he also said, "Ah." Uh -uh. Yeah, we've had it from many, mm. many experienced people. Yeah. So we were Don't like, do ah, that. No, we're not going to do that. Not stupid enough to do that. No, Are no, you going no, to no. any cons this year? Yes, Comic Con and Rage. As per usual, I have to go, don't I? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, we're just Comic Cons. I'm just so and... sad. I'm going to miss it. What's the other one? I'm pretty sure that whatever mm -hmm. I'm doing this year is going to be on YouTube, so you're not really going to miss it. the same. <laughs> you to see it in VR, in 3D. <laughs> <laughs> no one is going to want to see that IRL. Now you want to give them VR to experience it. No, no, no. We should do that. I'll try and invest in a 3D camera. <laughs> so you guys, you guys are going to get better makers, so... Uh, those high heels. Yeah. You'll be fine. Yeah. Well, I I think we yeah. should get him to come up to one of the 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 K Comic Cons. As mm. <laughs> <That's> what I'm... <laughs> I think we should. He, they should like. They should invite him. You know, like C X, not C X. Um, G S should invite him <laughs> and say, "Well, the Essay Geeks managed to get hold of someone at Comic Con in UK." He does you know, say she. He <laughs> just says what? She wants to see that. <laughs> and Kuya says cameras at the ready. Kuya's ready to capture okay, every so single gonna, thing. So, so you got there, there in SA. We're gonna try getting you yeah, as well. All the way up here in the UK. We'll make sure that's a, one of the Scottish Comic Cons as well. You won't, don't worry. You don't have to be too bar too embarrassed. Dude. We all wear dresses anyway. So. Mm. You know, we what if Michael doesn't wear a dress? What if Michael wears very well, slutty clothes? You know, You'll just fit in fine, don't worry. There are a lot of people with tight pants. <laughs> and in the dead of winter, some of them... And apparently she long. cosplay with you too, so there is that. She's going to be Mercy or Diva. No, oh, there you go. You're not yeah, totally you by go. yourself. You're so supportive, dear. I try. I meant my girlfriend, but you too. <laughs> <laughs> Friendship over. Damn. Friendship over. What Return the soul from whence it came. Ah, there we go. There's little Kez. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway. So, I suppose it's been long enough now. Yeah. Right, so we're going to have to edit off there. No. What are we going to do? Wait, can people find rest? That's what I said. Uh. I was about to get to that point, and then you just... You just, you just jumped in. Just jumped in. Oh, <laughs> um, right, Rusty. So, 
Now that we're coming to the end of the podcast, we need to find out where all of our viewers and listeners and kill that mozzie. You show that mozzie to boss. <laughs> we don't have mozzies yet because it's still stinky one to have. Um, where can where can our viewers and our loyal viewers and listeners? <laughs> well, you guys can find me at twitch.tv forward slash rusty pie lover. Um, I'm sure they'll link it. YouTube.com forward slash rusty pie lover. Er, don't ask that question. I'm not gonna. I'm not even gonna bother answering that. Rusty pie lover. Er. Yeah, I I goofed at my initial creation and then it just it didn't get fixed. And then Facebook, Twitter, uh, Facebook, Twitter, and what's the other one? Everyone likes to use Instagram. Instagram? Yes. <laughs> All the same name. TikTok, Rusty pie lover. Find me there. ResearchGate. <laughs> All I have is memes on my Instagram. If you're looking for my day-to-day -day life, let me tell you how life disappoints you. With that finger. <laughs> <laughs> right, so, uh, Chunzi, where do we find you? Well, I'm not wearing my branded caps today because I have the Witcher. <laughs> <laughs> but it's normally at Geekoscopy all over the internet, except probably MSN and Yahoo and... All my those, space. all those old things. My yeah, MySpace <laughs> <laughs> on all the relevant platforms at Geekoscopy. If we can make one, <laughs> Kistle wants to find out if we can make a MySpace. <laughs> we need to find out. <laughs> anyway, yes. So I don't know if Kiz wants to actually speak mm -hmm. this, so I'm going to actually have to say it this time because her mouth is very mm -hmm. sore. So where you can find the two of us, the SA Geeks, you can find us at. Well, you can find us on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, uh, YouTube, YouTube, uh, uh, Instagram. Uh, this is why I don't do this, but remember, all of the social media, you'll pretty much find us. Exactly. So if you just look for the SA Geek, just tap into Google. You'll Google find is your friend. <laughs> you'll find she friends, right treats there. you well. You just yeah. you have to use her services. Yeah. So anyway, yes, that's that's pretty much all we have for the day, for the evening. Thank you so much. Night. Rusty, thank you so much for joining us. We do appreciate real. It's been awesome. Do you have it's any final words? Fantastic. Have you got any final words before we run away? The last Maybe word. Second. Come here, big boy. Ooh, <laughs> okay. later, baby, later. Yeah. Oh, jeez, Anyway, <laughs> guys, thank you so much for joining us. We do appreciate it. Cheers.